I got nothing. I got nothing with the Bruins. An 896 now for Allmark. Yeah. There you go. That's, there you go. I got nothing after that. Th- this is it. This is all we got. Is this gorgeous face to try and carry us through the sad times as the greatest regular season team in NHL history that took a 3 1 series lead on the eight seed Panthers have to win a game seven on home ice. (sighs) Do you recall the last time the Bruins had a super high pressure situation game seven? Do you recall? Because I certainly do, particularly at home, given that, you know, the Bruins lost to the Islanders two years ago and the Hurricanes last year, but that game seven uh, was in Carolina where they should have traded for Max Domi. Uh, Yeah, the last time they had a high-pressure situation where they needed to win at home in a Game 7 was 2019 in the Stanley Cup Final against St. Louis, where they lost 4-1, to fucking not scoring until the third period of that game. Yeah. Um, Look, it's it's a pretty drastically different team. There's new coaching, but at the same time, It's kind of like Leafs fans. Endo said it on the podcast for the Leafs. It's Leafs in six, Lightning in seven. You ask me who I think is winning game seven, Boston, Florida. I think it's Florida. How can you discount Florida right now over the Bruins? Given that, again, they are still playing with no pressure. They have beaten the Bruins in Boston twice. How do you not side with Florida to be the favorite? Oh, well, Bobrovsky's... Not good. Apparently, he doesn't fucking have to be. The Bruins scored five goals. You could argue six. And still lost. By the way, look, the the Bruins didn't lose because of the DeBrusque hand pass. But holy fuck, is that call stupid? The idea... Come on. Come on. At least clarify the rule. That's such an NHL-ass rule. Again, it's not the reason why they lost, but Florida did score two fucking minutes afterwards. So that didn't help. Just what what do you even do? Like if you're the Florida Panthers, you're laughing to the fucking bank right now because you've been playing with house money the entire time. You shouldn't have made the playoffs. Like that's just a flat out fact. The Florida Panthers should not have made the playoffs. They shouldn't have. Pittsburgh fucking blew it at the end. You can argue Buffalo did, too. I mean, Jesus, Florida finished just one point above both of them. Um, again, I, I give the Panthers all the credit in the world for hanging in there and just doing what they have to do. It's, it's yeah, against 31 and 32 for Pittsburgh. Exactly my point. Thank you um, for further elaborating. So some people who might not have known that. Thank you, Brad. Um, we'll get to baseball soon, I promise. Oh, my God. Just... Like I said, there's so much. It's just a giant stream of consciousness right now. So bear with me. This isn't meant to be concise. This isn't a, you know, it's funny as years ago we joked, oh, Tuggy, you should do the the Bruins fan reaction. And I'm like, I'm not having something that's that's called beefer. Thank you. Um, Tuggy's take works better for alliteration. Um, Jesus Christ. Like, look, I am not like, oh, my God, the sky's falling. They're definitely going to lose. Like, no, the Bruins can still win this. They should still fucking win this. That's why the most recent episode title of the podcast was should, because they should win this series. They should have won it already. But the Panthers are favorites in game seven. How could they not be? They have no fucking pressure on them whatsoever. You have taken the greatest regular season team of all time to seven games when at most this should have gone to game five. At most. But the Bruins blew it twice on home ice. And look, I mean, there's always going to be that fine line of people being like, okay, yeah, the Bruins blew it, but you need to give Florida proper credit. I feel like I am, personally. I feel like I am. Obviously, my viewpoint's going to be more Bruins-centric. Them... Losing this series. I don't know. Like, 
Could you possibly clown on a team more? Maybe only the 2019 Lightning, and that's only because of the tweet. Oh, we know you don't want to hear it. Like, can you possibly clown on a team more than Tampa? If there was ever a team that you could, it would be this Bruins team if they lose Game 7 on Sunday. Because Jesus Christ, how did you find yourselves in this situation? So there is the whole, <clears throat> would I have felt better if the Bruins got swept? No. But is a sweep going to feel much? <laughs> is the pain from them potentially losing via sweep versus them losing in seven drastically different? No, it's the same feeling of holy shit, they blew it. Um, There's that argument over all Mark. Like, okay, so... To, to encompass the idea of, like, the issues with the Bruins roster, again, I, I promise we'll get to baseball eventually. The biggest issue has just been, got to be honest, and a lot of people have called it out. I got to agree with it. It's been Jim Montgomery, who is going to win the Jack Adams this year. First year coach with the Bruins, obviously previously with Dallas. Uh, he has dropped the ball big time. Sticking with Allmark to a fault. Shuffling the lines, <clears throat> excuse me, shuffling the lines on one hand is nice. Like game five, he's like, okay, this line isn't going to work. Fuck it. Let's try this. Like, I respect that. It's been more so the personnel changes. Um, having both Derek Forbert and Connor Clifton in the lineup instead of Matt Grizzlick is fucking insane. Um, I, I mean, there's some arguments about Frederick and Felino. I'm personally fine with Felino being in there. Um, everything's going wrong. <laughs> it's literally the, oh, no, it all went wrong. That might be the headline for the Boston Bruins in the 2023 playoffs. It might be. It might be. Maurice has proven that the Jets uh, suck and he wasn't the problem. I agree with that. Yeah, I agree with that. I mean, about the way the Jets were eliminated, too. Um, you had Rick Bonus just being like, yeah, this team fucking sucks, basically. <laughs> In the, the post-game press conference, yeah, no, Paul Maurice is a phenomenal, well-experienced coach. <sighs> and like I said, it's not even a, like, it's not a ref thing. Again, I think one call can be stupid, but it's not how the Bruins got screwed by the refs thing. Every fucking referee group, whatever the fuck you want to call them, suck. The refs have sucked in every series. The Department of Player Safety sucks. But it's universal for everybody. Um, Jesus. Jesus. I still think Montgomery sticks with Allmark. I mean, he probably will. He probably will, but... Honestly, my biggest takeaway from this, and I knew like to start off tonight's stream, people were going to be like, so how about them Bruins? So I figured I'd just be like, here you go. Uh, what can you even say necessarily? You know, what can you even say? It's just the Florida Panthers have done what they have needed to do. What they have done should not have been enough to get them to game seven. That's where it's like, okay, the Panthers fought, but the Bruins lost it. The Panthers' best in this series hasn't been very good. Again, Sergei Bobrovsky entered tonight with like an 895 save percentage in three appearances. Um, the Panthers have had very, very, very little depth scoring. Uh, and then Zach Dalby scored tonight, for fuck's sake. Um, yeah. Now we wait. <laughs> Now, as a Bruins fan, and everybody, really, even if you're not a Bruins fan, now it's just a matter of waiting to see if, one, the Florida Panthers pull off one of the biggest first-round upsets of all time. I would argue the biggest first-round upset of all time, given what the Bruins accomplished in the first 82 games that now don't mean a fucking thing. Um, we wait to see if the Bruins survive this series and then head into round two against Tampa or Toronto, having had to have played more hockey games than they should have. And that could go a long way into them 
falling short of winning a title. The idea of, look, you don't finish a series when you need to. You play two, three more games than you should have had to. That's going to add up maybe a run out of gas. Shit, have they already run out of gas based off the regular season? That is a conversation. That is a conversation to be had. Uh, and will be the conversation if they lose. So, my reaction for those that wanted it is, Jesus Christ, how, why, fucking win in Game 7, or rightfully get dunked on. I will not be one who's like, no, don't mock my favorite team. No, fucking mock them. Take their collective heads, give them a fucking swirly, you punked them out. If they lose this series, it would be one of the biggest choke jobs of all time. And very Boston sports. Because while Boston sports have been successful over the last 20 years, there's also a shitload of shortcomings. Celtics have lost in the finals. Uh, the Bruins have lost in the finals twice. The Patriots have lost in the Super Bowl three times. Like, that tendency for Boston sports to still fuck it up is there. It's ingrained in the DNA. They've overcome it a few times, but... And this would... Oh God, in terms of playoff losses for the... I mean, this would be the worst. Like, I'm trying to think back as a Bruins fan. Certainly non-Stanley Cup final, this is the worst. This would be worse than any loss to Montreal or anything like that. This would easily be... I mean... I don't think any, God, 2013 and 2019, I don't know if anything can top those. Prove me wrong by losing in the cup final this year. Um, again, like it's not like a saltiness towards the Panthers. I mean, hey, they've played some dirty fucking hockey, but what team hasn't, and why wouldn't you when you know the officiating is going to suck and you're probably going to get away with it? Bruins have had their moments in the series too, so, you know, again, that type of stuff goes both ways. <sighs> God. God damn it, baseball fan. Go ahead and leave. Here, I'll here, I'll give you incentive to leave. Get banned. I don't need you here. Bye. Apologize later on, and maybe I'll unban you. You impatient fuck. Anyway. Yeah. Let's hope the Bruins win. Game seven, Sunday, please. Jesus Christ. Um fuck. I don't really have too much else to say. See, if he waited ten seconds, he would have been fine. <laughs> 